Hello everyone, my name is Arun Poddhan. So today I am going to explain about software architecture and planning a software project lecture number 26. So the contents that we are going to discuss here is risk management concepts and risk assessment. Now what is what are the risk management concepts? So risk we have to define it as a exposure to injury or loss which means the injury or loss may or may not happen it is not 100% sure that injury is going to happen but it may or may not happen so in case of software project risk refers to the adverse effect on cost quality and schedule of the project so in terms of the software project there may be a effect on cost quality and schedule of the project so this is how the risk is calculated in the software project so risk management in an area in which negative effect on cost schedule and quality of the project can be minimized now during the risk management commonly occurring expected event are handles for example change in technology people leaving the projects so risk management has to deal with number of problems as as shown in the slides now there are various phases for identifying the risk first one is risk assessment so in risk assessment is done during the project planning now in this what we do is risk we identify the risk okay analyze it and then prioritize on based on the analysis so these three phases are done during risk assessment so it is done throughout the project because it is needed at the starting phase of the project now what is the goal of risk assessment is is the final result should be prioritize the risk that require an attention that is ranking the risks now in this the first step is risk identification now how to identify the risk so various methods can be used to identify the risk the first one is preparing checklist for identifying the risk we can have a conducting surveys and meetings having brainstorm sessions and review of plans process and work products now if you don't want a checklist apart from preparing checklists there are other methods for identifying the risk there is a decision driver analysis so in this technique what we do is there is questioning and analyzing of all the major decision taken by the for the project so based on this we can identify the risk after this we can analyze the risk so in risk analysis is a process in which probability of occurrence of the risk and the corresponding loss is estimated so if there is a risk we must we we will now calculate in risk analysis what we do is once we have identified so to analyze that risk we will calculate how much the risk is going to affect that project that is how much it is going to make a loss to that project and that loss will be estimated so that is how risk analysis is done so we calculate the cost of the project so if cost models are used for cost and schedule estimation we can use the same model to assess the cost and schedule so example we have kokomo model which can be used to analyze the cost and schedule risk okay so it can be done by estimating the worst case value of size and all the cost drivers there is another approach for risk analysis of making analysis of various things like outcome of various decisions risk on various factors such as reliability and usability and performance constraints now after this we prioritize the risk that is risk prioritization now once we have analyzed all the risks the impact of each risk on the project can be analyzed so based on the impact risk risk, risk can be prioritized so what we do is risk we compute the risk exposure risk exposure is nothing but from risk exposure we can come to know how much the risk is going to cost to the project so based on that we will prioritize the risk so it can be calculated using the formula risk exposure equal to probability of occurrence of the risk into loss due to unsatisfactory outcome so a risk exposure for each risk from risk table is calculated and whatever the total risk exposure we will get for all the risks will help in determining the final cost of the project now you can see here there are top risk items and techniques for managing them 
so the first one is personal shortfalls okay now what management techniques we have used used here is if there is no personal staffing with top talent job matching team building key personal agreements pre-scheduling key people now in the fifth one you can see gold plating so this is a risk of gold plating so requirement scrubbing prototyping cost benefit analysis and design to cost so these are the management techniques you can use so in this video we have discussed about risk management concepts various steps in risk assessment thank you